bit unfortunate. Does he swing once more? Time will tell. Ali has a rifle as well. Must know that he's low. Oh, the preemptive shots. And now he actually get the bomb down towards lower. Oh, this could actually get a little bit spicy. Drops the smoke. Nice open plant. So he's got the money. And he still might win this, you know. There is a chance. It's a oh, oh my god! No! Five HP in a one on four! That's not allowed. That's ridiculous. We were Five and four. Brokey towards lower. I haven't said his name an awful lot to be no, fair. No, you haven't. Very quiet. All off my staff. Nice shot. You know, Ethan's been the other one that's quiet, but even though Breezy's got 19 kills, I haven't said hit his, him as much in this second half. And Olaf's going to take him down. What? As well as no. Bomb also. 46 seconds to recover. And Tarek's already downstairs going, come on, man. What do you want me to do now? I got to go recover that? Well, he's going to try, but he gives himself up. Ethan. Fair play. Nico's going to at least walk back in. Down to 52. Ooh. But he'll nail Ethan. I would have thought FaZe learned something about aimbots this month. <laughs> Brother Van, I like it. One versus one again. This time, Cirque up against Nico. And now, the clutch begins. Cirque makes his way down towards the vents. Nico will have no idea as to where he's positioned. He has 52 HP. Cirque with a few skip, but no nades. Cirque has the HP and the kit, like you say, but Nico has a flash. He could still work with it if it came to that. If he had to delay, he doesn't. He heard the door open. That was the cue. Back out and four for FaZe. Another clutch. You said it, 1VX, but this time it does go the way. Evil Genius's side. But they will remain on the CT forces if they can win this round and we go into overtime. Order sniper deployed. Will it find the kill? Oh, oh it does. Did it ever? Did it ever? Cold with the assist. Brocky gets his kill itself. The follow-up shot. Oh, that strategy. Olaf was involved in it last time we saw it come, or I guess it was the first time we saw it come to fruition. Obviously not in this round though. Zaiwu, just the, the pistol there. Not going to get too much done, but RPK at least does hit the headshot onto Rain with the Deagle. So it's a 4v4. I don't think the gun's going to be retrievable right now for Vitality. FaZe have quite a congregation of members over there. Every kill that Vitality can get though in this situation is going to keep FaZe's economy in check. Phase on the T side though. Oh well, it's starting to get a little expensive. You know, I was gonna yeah. say it's not too bad uh, if they lose one or two guns. Nico doesn't check. There you go, oh. beautiful. Clears out the angle. All the eyes dotted and T's crossed. That's oh my god, RPK! What a sh what a start to the game from the man. A six and tank two. mode, and he's lost pistol, and has faced two anti ecos, and he's six and two. Can you believe that? Crazy. Putting in all the numbers. And this is uh, exactly what you said. Oh, Hold on, where was that second. from? Shocks! He, oh! he was up on heaven and RPK gets up there as well and they've actually won the round. Oh, Vitality. It says it was assisted by the T's, but I think that was CT. Oh, surely the one that got him was greater, or rather more poorly placed by his teammates. Still they recover it to a two on two, but it opens up banana and allows them to get so far forward and Rain's gonna have to rotate over. You're pointing out the fact that they've got no smoke. Yeah, they've got no smoke, but they have got an AWP. It might not be enough at this point. Good shot from Rain, but now a one versus one. Nico will have to deliver once again. Bomb to be planted. He's coming in from Banana. Ethan has the advantage here. He's still got an incendiary. AWP in hand. This will be for the ace as well. He was the only player that had a weapon in this round. He had the Galil. His teammates with the CZ and Deagles. But the Galil comes out on top. Time ticking away. Nico. Doesn't have much utility apart from an AG here. Can't smoke the bomb and defuse. Has to try and sniff him out. And time is of the essence at this point. Ethan has buried himself towards the ruins. And Nico hoping he's going to be towards new boxes. He's not there. I think the round might be done at this point already. Throws the AG in vain. Goes for a defuse and it does connect. But at this point, it's Ethan with the ace. The frag here, not quite. Tarek though. Flashbang comes in. It's now a two versus one. Olofmeister. Glock in hand. The scout on his back. Needs to try and find anything else but the scout at this point. Mac 10 will be picked up. Didn't go for the quick plan. Allows the CTs to reposition at this stage. One versus one. Tarek will be up against the plan here. Still towards spawn. No kits, no utility on either side. Olaf Meister with the Mac 10, which is okay considering Tarek only has 56 points of health. Who well, will come out on top here. Tarek has to be pretty active. And considering he's the one that started off with the pistol, has a Krieg, he has the advantage on Olaf. But up close, movement certainly still favors the Mac 10, which is why he's trying to play the angle as late as he possibly can.
Each knowing the other's position, Olaf gets the better of his opposition with a great, great shot, I have to say, and good play to get B is Warrior for the likes of EG. That's all of my start with his third frag of the round, looking to get four. And at this point, Stanislaw can only sit on the corner with the MP9, knowing that one bullet will take him down. How is he alive? You know, some people would ask that about a lot of Canadians, but it's because they're very apologetic. <laughs> Well, he's got his work cut out for him here. The smoke doesn't do much for him, unfortunately. That incendiary is a little bit worrying as well, but his suck needs a quick one DK. Not going to get it. All of my looking for the ace now. Have a headshot for him. He's actually got the highest headshot percentage rating in this tournament map, 65% so far. And he's been using the AWP more and more recently, so that's impressive. Yeah, that's fantastic. Stan will grab Bomb back from the mid tier lobby and head up to the roof. Run it around to the top of the main entrance as well. And looks like that's the door he elects for. Unfortunately for him, they're still standing on the floor. Down and buy some time. Yeah, exactly that. It was the bomb that he got, which just bought a few more seconds, which is significant considering the situation. It means they're going to be more scrambled in post plan when the rotations arrive. And Nico was not able to get to safety at all. Olaf with it all to do. It looked like FaZe had the momentum and the game in their hands. Maybe Olaf has it still in his, because it is going to be Stan working his way around. Remember, he's the one that found Rain, who was not checked in the cubby. Olaf's going to get it anyway. And the oh. bicep flex comes out from Yanko once more. It's yes or go, and the answer will be no. Breezy shuts down the first. Olaf's going to back, but watch for Cirque. EWP up close, close is where he shines. Clips the edge through the box of Cold Zero. That leaves him alive on six, but that's good enough for Ethan to capitalize. In fact, he might get them all, or will he? He has to, he has to get them all. He has to shut down Olaf for his third in the round, and that's not oh. gonna happen. FaZe tie the game, and Yanko. <laughs> Olaf Meister, that is, yeah, hold the music for now. It was a great round, but it wasn't quite the closer. Heaven. <laughs> How did you not look up? Oh, no. looking far too stubborn. He's over, he's over complicating things. I mean, why, you had ramp room. You could have done something with that. Instead, you push through, you go one at a time up the ladder, wrap around. Throw in the top. Rifle. He does as well. He's not going to slow down either. That cost him his life. Maybe just falling back off that one would have been the one, but I still like the approach. Four and four. Rain takes down Ethan. Cirque's going to get him back, however, with the Deagle spotting out for the big crepe. Breezy's attention goes that direction, expecting there to be a reaction. Expecting a trade, or at least attempt for one. Bronky can be heard outside. That gives Cirque the cue, and now Breezy thinks he's safe. Now, Cold has been patient in all of this. Who's going to find the other first? Because Cold still has the weaponry to work with. Big box as well to divide himself from Breezy, and in fact, great angle. Fantastic angle. And that is why the Krieg is so goddamn punishing. Yeah, you saw that little adjustment to zoom in there, using the scope. Picks his head off, and now Tarek left in the two versus one. Time is on his side, I suppose. That rotation gets the first shot as a collecting on the first Krieg, but then dropped immediately after Jacob's left alone. Finds one Ooh. second as well. I don't think he's got time for the bomb, however. Yeah, that's the problem with the double orb setup, Matt. If you get yourself in a retake scenario like that, even with the advantage, it slows you right down. You're looking for the picks. It gets very awkward at close range. The bomb was ticking at some pace. He couldn't pounce any instant trades. I said he didn't have time. He actually did get away, so he keeps the Krieg as well. So after losing two, they get back to a seventh win, and the money's going to be pretty solid. If he went down on that Krieg, it would be a slightly different situation. Mm, I thought Ali might actually overindulge on the repeak, but thinks better of it. Molotov down. X7 takes advantage of the fact that they can't repeak and slides all the way into the site. He'll make his oh, way up on the catwalk as well. So now he can cover off anyone that does dare push through the window. He'll have the audible noise of the door opening down below on both sides, for that matter. And meanwhile, the bomb is just biding its time. But X7 is going to go down. That's going to give them the time to get in. Alu forced off the angle. I thought the positioning looked so good. And yet, one missed shot 
Okay, I was gonna say it falls apart. Recover. Leas needs to do the same. He completely surrounded. Might get both nades out and Andy swings and JKS capitalizes on Sunny. It falls <laughs> apart so fast. They had the perfect setup there and stay. Surely not. Miko's in a good angle here. Shocks an RPK will try and dispatch him. No, it's Zaiwu that takes the initial peak. RPK now has that AWP, but he puts the P250 to good use. As now the attention turns to Cold Zero, and of course it does. Three kills and make it a four. Phase lock out the B site. Vitality just can't deal with this close. Definitely doing some heavy lifting so far. Oh. Another frag for Nico into a one on two for Alex. Should be pretty straightforward cleaning up Nico, and it is. But getting Cold Zero, a different matter altogether. Although he gets the timing right, and Alex just wide swings around I off the bomb site. No. Yeah, Vitality just trying to change things up a little bit. And Phase, you know, well, they're still good enough to punish Vitality for that. The question though becomes can they consolidate? and convert this round. Flash up bracket. Are they going to try and burst through this jungle area? Oh, Zaiwu getting the timing almost right. In fact, I think he did get the timing oh. right, but now has to hit some oh. shots, and he is hitting them indeed. Zaiwu gets three. And shocks. Trades out Cold Zero. Zaiwu the hero of the round. I mean, you could really see it coming. Guns out of their hands, but round has finally been won by Ants. An interesting stats just come in. Uh, there's not been a single flash assist so far on oh this entire God. map. So that's fine for under these N9s are up. They don't need to get the flash assist. You're holding up and it's taking the players down. But if you're Ents and you haven't had a single flash assist in terms of the kills you've found on the map so far, I suggest you're not even really helping each other out. We've noticed there's a lot of solo plays and interesting mentalities going forward. If the fact they're not even flashing each other in suggests things really are going wrong for them. But there's Ariel 